Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. What we have for you guys today is a 2014 Super Snake done in Grabber Blue. One of the best, in my opinion, the best color for the GT500s in the 2013, 2014 models. We have a convertible. When this car was done, it was believed to be one of four Grabber Blue cars and one of two in a convertibles. Stick around, we're gonna break it all down for you guys and we'll uh, start it up and give you a couple of revs as well. The car was built by Shelby American out in Vegas. The car is finished in the Grabber Blue with your black stripes. You have your black leather upholstery interior with those Recaro seats. The car is powered by a supercharged 5.8 liter V8 linked to a six speed manual transmission and a limited slip differential. So the Super Snake package is going to include the 3.6 liter Kenny Bell Supercharger, a performance cooling package, carbon fiber front splitter, a Super Snake hood with heat extractors, an upgraded suspension with Watts Link uh, suspension, your Willwood disc brakes, your forged 20 inch aluminum wheels on all four corners, and the Super Snake badging, along with the front seat embroidery. This Super Snake has just under 7,000 miles and is in perfect condition, especially for a car with 7,000 miles. You look at it, you would never think that it had that many miles, but it is a one owner car, extremely well taken care of, well cared for, you know, inside um, the interior, the front splitter, the motor, everything, you know, you look around the car and it looks like a car really that has, you know, maybe a thousand to 2,000 miles on it. You have your Shelby certificate, all the invoices to show that this is a Super Snake that was upgraded uh, through Shelby with all of your receipts. The CSM number inside right above your shifter is going to be something that validates the true authenticity of these Super Snakes. So without it, you do not have a true Super Snake. So if you're in the market, make sure you are looking to see if the car has a true CSM number. So the production of the GT500 Super Snake in this year of 2014 when the car was done, at the first year of production around 2014, they were told, the original owners, that this car was one of four Grabber Blue Super Snakes and one of just two convertibles. Uh, but they were open to continue to send back cars back to Shelby Vegas for the Super Snake package. So I'm sure that there are a little bit more than that now, um, but it won't be much. You know, the Grabber Blue is a rare color. Um, and if the cars really weren't done as Super Snakes in the first couple of years, it wasn't too common that you would see people um, start to send them back, you know, in 2016, 17, 18. You know, people did, but obviously not as much as they did from the jump. You have the Grabber Blue with the black over the top stripes and the Super Snake GT500 side stripes as well. Has badging on the tail panel and fenders. Additional features are going to include a Super Snake hood with the heat extractors, an upper grille mesh insert, carbon fiber front splitter, a rear spoiler. You have side scoops, a power operated black soft top, a light bar with a center brake light fog lights, and dual exhaust outlets. You have your black finished 20 inch forged wheels with the center caps, and they are 275 by 35 in the front and 295 by 35 in the rear, and they are all Michelin Pilot Super Sport tires. The car rides on a revised suspension equipped by Shelby American. Stopping power is provided by red finish Shelby branded Willwood calipers over cross drilled and slotted rotors at all four corners and a front brake cooling kit is also fitted. The interior is going to feature front bucket seats upholstered in black leather with the blue stitching and you have the Recaro seats which I think are awesome on a convertible. They just look so good with the top down. And that is all part of the Super Snake interior package. As we mentioned, that plaque is going to be ahead of the shifter, which identifies the car as a Shelby Super Snake and notes that the individually Shelby American CSM number. You have the Shaker audio system with a rear subwoofer. 
a 4.2 inch LCD screen, air conditioning, cruise control, and partial power adjustments for the front seats. The three spoke multifunction steering wheel is going to show a 220 mile per hour speedometer, a tachometer with the red line at 7,000 RPMs, and those auxiliary gauges showing your coolant temperature and fuel level. Auto meter gauges indicate the supercharge boost, fuel pressure and oil pressure are mounted to the driver's side A pillar. And as we mentioned, the odometer is going to show just under 7,000 miles currently sitting at 6,900. The 5.8 liter V8 has been fitted with a liquid cooled 3.6 liter Kenny Bell supercharged along with a larger radiator, a heat exchanger, billet engine fluid caps and aluminum expansion tanks. Factory output is reported by Shelby American at 850 horsepower following all of your Super Snake modifications. Power is sent to the rear wheels through a six speed manual transmission with the Shelby short throw shifter and a limited slip differential. All invoices and certificates are included with the sale of this Super Snake. The Carfax report shows no accidents or other damage. So that's a wrap on our 2014 Grabber Blue Super Snake Convertible. Hope you guys enjoyed. Have some other Super Snakes if you're Super Snake fans. And be on the lookout for what we have coming in.